hello everyone in today's video solving these two questions so first question we are given a venturi meter we are given the water flow rate q we have to derive the expression of q in terms of height that is the manometer height h and the cross section areas a1 and a2 so let's start with the question so we are given this diagram in which this larger tube has a area a1 and the smaller one has area a2 and let's say the velocity in this area be v1 and in this area to be v2 so the pressure in this side is p1 in the other side is p2 so this difference p1 minus p2 equal to the rho g h where h is the high difference in the manometer and we know the flow rate is velocity into area we have a constant flow rate so we can write this as v1 a1 is equal to v2 a2 in the other tube now using the bernoulli's principle so we have a pressure p1 and this is the half rho v1 square this is the kinetic energy per unit volume in the other tube the pressure is p2 plus half rho velocity is v2 square so this can be written as p1 minus p2 so this is half rho v2 square minus v1 square so this can be written as rho gh using this relation and this is half rho v1 square v2 square upon v1 square minus 1 so cancel this rho so we can write from this v2 by v1 can be written as a1 over a2 so let's put in here so this gh is v1 square half this is a1 square by a2 square minus 1 so this is the expression we got so this v1 square can be written as twice gh over a1 square minus a2 square this is a2 square so this can be written as root of this the flow rate is equal to velocity v1 into a1 so let's put the expression for v1 so we get this a2 out from here and this is 2 gh over a1 square minus a2 square so this is the expression so let's move to the next question so in second question we are given the two spaceships approaching each other both are moving with the same speed as measured by the stationary observer on the earth the relative speed between the two spaceships is 0.7c so we have to determine the velocity of each spaceship as measured by the stationary observer on the earth so let's start so this is fourth c part we are given this spaceship a and spaceship b both are moving towards each other and the velocity as seen by the observer on the earth p v for both the spaceships let v be the velocity of each spaceship as observed by stationary observer on earth and the relative velocity that is u prime the velocity of b as observed by a or vice versa is point 0.7c using the concept of 
relativistic velocity addition that is u prime I have taken the positive sign because it is approaching towards each other so the velocity is same so we can write this v plus v and this is v square over c square and we are given this u prime to be 0.7 c so this is 2 v plus 1 plus v square by c square so solving this we get this 0.7 c c square plus b square this 2 v c square so let's cancel this c we are having this quadratic equation this is 0.7 v square plus 0.7 c square minus 2 v c is equal to 0 so this is a quadratic equation let's find out the value for v this is minus b that is 2c plus minus b square is 4c square minus 4a c 4ac and this is twice point 7 so our velocity 2c plus minus twice c 1 minus point 0.49 over twice point 7 so taking out this 2c common 1 plus minus root of 0 0.51 over twice point 0.7 so this is 10 over 7 c this is 1 plus minus 0 0.71 so the possible solution so the velocity can't be greater than the speed of light so the possible solution comes out to be 10 over 7 c 1 minus 0.71 so velocity is 10 over 7 c 1 minus 0.71 which is 0 0.29 into 10 c over 7 so this comes out to be 0 0.41 time the speed of light the velocity of spaceships as observed by the stationary observer on the earth is 0 0.41 times the speed of light so this is the answer for the second question if you have any doubts related to these two questions please write me in the comment box if you find this video helpful please like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching this video